college professor my freshman year at Cornell said to me, to truly learn something, it's got to hurt to work. And not physically hurt, but the brain really needs to be diving in. The brain really needs to be pushing itself. It really needs to be, right, like strengthening itself. It, it needs to, after lifting a two pound weight for, for days or months or years, it needs to move to the next level. And that's exactly why I'm showing you a brain. And this is one of the reasons why it is so difficult for your student. Because here's the thing, right? I'm going to page, I'm pretending I'm lifting a weight. I'm going to page 52 and I'm going to do problems one through five. This is not about academics. There is no heavy lifting going on there. The brain doesn't have to work to figure that out. That is the equivalent of your child lifting a two pound weight. Yeah, no problem. I got it, 52, problems one through five. I know what that means. I don't have to do any questions. I know I have to think about it. I'm all good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Now I'm going to hand you a five pound weight or a 10 pound weight. Now I'm going to tell you to go study. And all of a sudden it's, well, 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 what am I studying? How am I studying? How much should I study? Should I study one only once? Should I study every day? Um, like I understand my gods from Mesopotamia, but you know, do I really understand like why, you know, there was a, there was a war, like you see my point, arm down, right? The brain just might not be strong enough. And self-testing is when you have to prove that you can lift that five pound weight also, because it, when you're rereading, so I wanted to show this in two ways. When you're rereading, that's a two pound weight. I'm just sitting and I'm reading. I don't have to stretch my brain. I don't have to formulate an answer. I'm just maybe hopefully absorbing information. Now I'm sitting across from you and I'm saying, okay, you know what? I don't understand that concept. Can you explain it to me? It was a little fuzzy. All of a sudden your child has to speak it, tell it, teach it. And that's when you know you don't know. I do this all the time with my coaching clients. It's not enough for them to say, I just read my notes. That actually, we don't do that when you work with me. I'm like, all right, let's pick a concept. So can you explain to me the difference between like, I don't take your class, I don't really. And all of a sudden the student that went, I know it now is, and I don't mean to disparage the student, but you can see it. They're stumbling over their words. They're, they're having a hard time getting it out. They're like, oh, you know what? I don't remember that part. I think I have to read it again. Or, oh, you know what? I don't really understand how that really is. And they only get there when they say it, when they teach it, when they are communicating it, when it comes out this way. That's your five pound weight.